Shashtin, Slovakia, September 15th. At this place of pilgrimage, Holy Father Pope Francis was met by approximately 60,000 people. However, an incident occurred there regarding which a statement was made after some time by the company Defend, which provided an airspace protection technology during the visit by the leader of the church. This news was reported on the jpost.com portal. A potential hazard was apparently caused by one of the drones that was flying nearby. It was apparently a do-it-yourself type. Defend's Enforce Air product repelled the unwanted drone and sent it back to its original takeoff location, far from the large crowd. The security forces originally wanted to remove it using a jammer. In the end, they determined that this option would disrupt events, for example, by interrupting live broadcasts and disabling local phones. They assessed this to still be a risk. They therefore deployed the latest anti-drone technology. Using RF radio waves and cyber technology, the Enforce Air system observed an unknown drone. Using the system, the operator can detect the signal and reprogram the drone's path. The drone can thus be directed to land elsewhere, outside the monitored area. And this is what happened in the case of the mass in Justin. The case, however, was not assessed as being a security threat. For tactical security reasons, it's not possible to share more details. During the event, there were a number of drones in the air. The police assessed them as friendly. It's not yet known who the owner of the drone is, or whether criminal proceedings concerning the matter have been launched. Of course, a drone can also be used as a weapon, but not only as a weapon. It can also be used to harass someone and can be otherwise used in a variety of ways. One of the main problems with drones is that they are very easily accessible. For the mitigation of dangerous drones, jammers and even trained birds of prey have been used, for example. However, other technologies are improving that avert threats completely and inconspicuously, as was the case in Shashtin, where none of tens of thousands of participants noticed the incident and intervention.